picture on my mirror I Start to blush when somebody says your name In my stomach there's a pain You walk in my direction, I go the other up way I start to stutter when I speak I Try to stand, but my knees go weak What's happening to me? In the dark, can you tell me what it means? I lay my head on my pillow Staring out the window Show a star for a sign Welcome back to another vlog. How's everybody doing? Today is on Monday and I want to go and buy some braids because I want to get my hair done. Finally, um, I know I've said this so many times that I cannot, cannot style natural hair. Like those girlies who know how to style their natural hair and they always look so good. Yeah, um, I applaud them because unfortunately I'm not one of them. So, um, actually, I'm, I don't know how to style natural hair, so um, this is the best that I can do, actually. <laughs> and it's pathetic. So, I want to get some braids done, and I have a specific style in mind. I'm going to place a picture on the screen so that you can see what I want to get done. I want to do a house call. She, she usually does house calls, so... By the time I'm telling you this, I've actually not called her. Imagine I call her and then she's unavailable. So if you see me getting braids, Kwanyumba just know that um, she was finally available. Hopefully she will actually be willing to come to where I stay. Because I don't want to go to the salon. Salons are just boring and exhausting. So yeah, that's what's up. There's this place around where I live and the lady usually sells kitchenware. And every time Nikki Peter, I usually say that Nita end up on end up. So now I want to go and see what she has. Um, I've been wanting to buy cooking pots, like the ones with glass lids for the longest, longest time. I know I can always go to Kamukunji and um, get some from there, but with Kamukunji, it's a hit or miss. I have had so many people complaining of those cooking pots. You know those that come as a set? I've had so many people saying they bought theirs and they they they're not like cooking well. Nikama Ali buy is and you see original. So I'm thinking because she usually sells Zikya second hand. You can never go wrong with second hand cooking wear. So I want to go and see what she has. If I see something nice I'm going to buy. If not, it'll be to Niende Kamukunji. But yeah, that's what's up. I hope everybody is doing well. Um, let me quickly show you my outfit and then we head out. I have tried showing you my outfit, Kwakio, but it's so dark. Um, let me just show it to you like this. So black leather jacket, black tank top, black jeans, and a black bag. You've seen me carry this bag so many times and again a full black outfit do you guys feel like i'm um, overdoing it at this point <laughs> because the amount of black clothes that i'm wearing nowadays is alarming but yeah it's a cute outfit and i love it for my shoes i'm just going to wear white shoes yeah <laughs> at least we're going to change with that i can't put on fully black that no we can't do that so yeah um that's my outfit and yeah we are sit the honey for the day, baby Bad man, we must pay, baby Oops, I done fell for you, baby I know, girl, but Feel in love from the first time The first time I seen you love You got me, baby Even though, girl, I know that I'm a fall for you You got to know that everyone falls Oops, I done fell so deep, baby Oops, I want you for me, baby Oops, I want you for me, baby
Come my, my way with me Top down on the highway with me And if you let me love you boy. Shorty, she ain't even got a visa Out of town one night teaser Need to tell them other niggas sees us I'm falling, but everyone falls And I know from the first time The first time I see you love You got me, baby Later that same evening. Today for dinner, I want to make uh, ugali, skuma on the side, and beef. I know that's like, I know it sounds like I always cook that, but trust me, I do mix in the middle, but <laughs> it's my go to meal every single time. So that's what I'm having today. But then this whole week, I've tried to switch things up. I haven't had this meal in a while. I know in all my vlogs, it seems like I'm always eating the same thing, but trust me. That's not always the case. But anyway, that's what we are having today. I've already chopped the onions and tomatoes. I didn't want to show you this process because I know by now you're just bored. <laughs> you're just bored. And then these are the spices that I will be using today. But they are very big on spices. And I feel like that is in Ikidogo. If I had more, I would add more. And then some Reiko cubes, of course. I never cook my meal without the Reiko cubes, the beef flavor. So yeah, I'll show you the final uh, meal once it's done. Just because your process, your kopika, I feel like you guys have seen it so much now. Let me try and switch it up at least. So I'll just show you once my food is ready. Several days later. welcome back to another day of this vlog i really don't even remember the last time i vlogged guys i feel like it has been a week i remember the last time that we talked i had mentioned that i was going to get my hair done <laughs> and life just happened life just happened um yeah i'm going to tell you exactly what happened because bro this is crazy i remember when i was introducing the vlog i was so sure that i was going to town to get braids and then yeah i'm going to tell you what happened but first let me show you my outfit of the day only because i feel like it's kind of cute i'm actually not going anywhere thank god because it's late i don't know why i'm saying it's late if i'm not going anywhere <laughs> it doesn't make sense let me show you my outfit and then we talk because we have a lot to unpack let's do that all right so here is my outfit i bought this top a while back i don't even remember where i got it from but it was like a certain supermarket back then when these tops were trending <laughs> yeah i still have i still rock mine listen one thing about me i yes i'll rock with styles but if i find something cute even if it goes out of style i'm still going to rock it so yeah and then black jeans and then some house shoes because i'm just in the house but then i don't know if i've ever told you but my house usually gets so cold otherwise it and bear without shoes on so yeah it's a pretty cute outfit i guess you invite to like for lunch or something but yeah, let's uh, let me flip the camera. I set you up, and then we catch up visually. Also, don't mind my bed. As you can see, it's still not made, and it is what it is. So please don't judge me. Please don't judge me. Most of the time, I usually have my bed uh, made, but today is just one of those days. Okay, so yeah. So let me tell you, Nikitoka Hapa, the idea was to go and get my hair done, right? So Nikifika Tao, my mom called me and she told me that she was in town, Nairobi, and I did not even know that she was coming. And she had like some errands she wanted to do. So her idea was, I can at least errands, we meet up. So I just told her since I was in town, I just take her 
to catch up because it has been a while since I saw her and that's what happened guys and I dropped everything that I had gone to town to do so paka say I've not done my hair so yeah to get out kafanya errands we came back home we stayed here she has been here for like three days she just left yesterday and I have not vlogged ever since yeah that's how life just happens but I'm so happy that I got to see her and yeah yeah we're still here we still oh I'm so sorry we are still we're still here so now that that is out of the way at least now you understand why my hair is still not done even my nails are still not done yeah but it is what it is so i guess i'll just do i'll do my hair and my nails on my next vlog i hope you guys you don't mind so the other thing that i had told you i was going to do is there's this shop that i had mentioned i wanted to visit now that one at least i was able to to visit but i didn't buy the pants that i wanted because the prices were out of my budget um so the big pan I'm, I'm pretty sure you guys have already seen that montage of me going to that shop i'm pretty sure when i'm editing i'll put it before this clip so the pants were going for 3500 the big one and the small one was no the big one was 4500 and the small one was 3500 like I know those things are thrifted, but why are they so expensive? So I didn't buy them because out of my budget. Um, the only thing that I managed to buy <laughs> that was not even on my list is this glass. Um, and this is how it looks like. It's very cute and it's very heavy and it was going for 250. 250 for such a glass is such a steal, I felt like. Um, yeah, so you can use it for milk or maybe juice but for me i think i'll just use it for a smoothie and then those glass straws yes it will look so cute and that's how it looks like yeah and it's actually quite heavy i think i've already mentioned that all right so the other thing that i got is a phone case and i got a blue one now tell me what why this guy told me i don't know why he thought that i had money jolly quad and use here 600 like sir I don't know where you're getting the impression that I have money, but 600 for a phone case, phone case like this one, no. So I ended up getting it for 200. Although I feel like Pia you are I feel like if I bargained more, I would have gotten it for a cheaper price. But sometimes you're just tired and you don't even want to talk. So I got it for 200 shillings. So don't join Ligonga, but it's fine. So within those um, three days that my mom was here i convinced her to take me to gikomba because by the way my mom is a businesswoman and i feel like uh thrifting not thrifting per se but like gikomba is uh like her forte it's her area like she knows she knows the ropes you know so i told her and because guys i've always wanted to be a businesswoman i know like how am i dropping such such news so randomly but yeah i've always 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 guys wanted to be a businesswoman and i'm so happy that i have already i have like decided to start my own business so a lot of applause please <laughs> yeah i am so happy but i'm anxious and i am scared at the same time of course it's expected when you're starting a new business and you don't even know where to start guys especially in a market where it's so saturated you're like it's out of war, but it is what it is. I've always wanted to, to start and I'm so happy that I have started because you know what? Yeah, time in a song, time in a song. So if you don't start now, when? So yeah, oh, before I show you the things that I got for my business, I also thrifted more things. So I got some pillowcases. I don't know if you guys have ever noticed, but my big pillows are Zinanga pillowcases. So I got this one that has some stripes zinaka kama ni cream hapo kwa screen but they're actually white now tell me why this one pillowcase they're only going for 100 shillings but one has some red <laughs> red stripes like i just noticed when i got home like one is just plain and this other one has this red thingy but i'm not too mad about it because once i put the pillows ndani zitangalia the other side so it won't be visible which is okay so the other thing i got are some house shoes 
so cute oh my god i love these house shoes like i've mentioned uh earlier my house is so cold so every time i get guests they're like they don't even have shoes to wear so also i'm obsessed with house shoes i will buy house shoes i have i already have like two pairs and actually let me show you so i think you've seen this pair so many times i love it i don't sometimes i don't even put these shoes on because of how cute they are i absolutely love it so these are my favorite and then these ones are the ones that now i thrifted in cucumber for 150 shillings only but then they're still dirty i need to wash them but yeah these are so cozy and cute and warm i absolutely love it and then the print is so pretty so cute is there anything else i remember that oh see i had forgotten i was even telling myself that i remember that i have a lot of things to show you guys and i hope i'll not forget so the other thing i got is i'm so sorry <laughs> the other thing i got is a throw blanket and listen it's the prints for me any the moment i saw this one i was like yes i'm going home with it only because i feel like it will it looks so much better on my couch but then this guy that was selling he had heavier throw blankets but one thing about me i will choose aesthetic over functionality any single time i said what i said very big i don't know if you can see but yeah so the reason why i picked it is because of the print it's the print that i picked and then but then it's funny because it actually looks uh the same as my duvet blanket so this is how that the first bag looks like so pretty so cute love this handle i love the gold details as you can see at i at i not scratch anywhere and then on the inside has one compartment and it can easily fit a phone so yeah, i wanted to show you so that you can you can have an idea of how how big the bag is so this, as you can see it can easily fit my phone and yeah I'll write the prices on the screen so in case anyone is interested in buying just hit me on Instagram and I will get back to you. But yeah, this is such an adorable bag you guys. I love it. And then this is how the straps look like. This is the bag. And yeah. I'm trying to increase the lighting because I I, I don't know why the phone is getting dark. But yeah, this is the first bag that I got. Um, so the second bag looks like this. Let's get into this print of this bag and this gold detail. Bro, I saw this bag and I was like, this is the type of a bag I would personally carry. Like, it looks so, so good. As you can see, the straps are also very intact. And then... This is how the inside looks like like it's a pretty clean bag as you can see up here the compartments are pretty big and then here he zip he got to intact and it looks good can easily fit a phone as well because this one is a bit bigger than the other one but yeah this is a pretty nice bag as you can see this is this pink one this blush pink one that looks like this let's get into the gold details y'all are you seeing the gold details like this is so so pretty i say i was i also wanted to take this on for myself you know how i only have black bags and i saw this and i was like oh my gosh should i take this one for myself but i'm like ah, this is our two journeys are closer but this one is so pretty and it looks like this it is pretty big by the way it's like double the size of the other bag that i showed you and then the inside looks like this as you can see it's pretty clean it looks like brand new kabisa the compartments are quite big too and yeah this is a pretty pretty cute bag honestly i love it 
So yeah, that's the other bag. Okay. So this is the actually uh, one, two, three. This is the fourth bag, and let's get into it. This is how it looks like on the inside. It's just one big compartment. Actually, there are just two. But it's a pretty decent bag if you ask me. I love the browns. I love the what is this? Like cheetah print? No, leopard. I don't know which print this is, but yo, this is such a beautiful, beautiful bag. And it looks like that. Oh, the browns are popping. One thing about brown, you can never go wrong. You can never go wrong with brown, by the way. Let me put something on the inside so that one even in a car cure with things. See? Wow. I love this bag. Such a pretty, pretty bag. If you're looking for like a basic black sling bag, this is for you. Okay. And this is another one. I had. Uh, I did some things on the inside so that the the bag this is the inside just has one compartment can easily fit a phone as you can see. You know, not to share soon. I know for us ladies, phones and our wallet is like the most important thing. You can't buy a bag and then come to share phone. Then how are you going to deal with it? So I made sure I bought bags that were like bags that had a pretty decent size because of the phones. So yeah, this one has this one compartment and it's a nice bag as you can see. The bag, the zip is also intact. This is the outside. And then we just my phone guy. And that's the fifth bag and i love it now the other bag that i got is my favorite bro let's get into this blush pink are you seeing how cute this is like this is so nice by the way this is literally so nice and then this is the inside and then it has this thing that you can close so that you you know you make sure that all your things are secured and then my finger heavy so this is the front i love the gold details honestly but then if you've noticed all my bags have gold gold details i feel like gold is always popping in everything i will just see how this bag is cute nani leather and hyena dead anywhere this is the back another compartment but yeah this is a pretty decent bag so if anyone is interested just hit me up and i will sell you the bags like i've mentioned i write the prices on the screen because listen we're not get, keeping prices stack is the less stories are you see something and then you're like just dm me the dm me for the price why just write the price if someone comes across the bag and they want to buy they buy if they don't want to buy they don't buy so yeah uh wow this is such a nice backpack this one people feel we buy us and about it but it's not the best but yeah it looks like this is it actually not that bad and this is the string it's just a basic gray bag and yeah actually you know what i was saying it's bad but it's not bad it looks like that same buyer by the way yeah it looks like that it's actually not a bad bag changed my mind i don't know why i always like carrying my bags like this like this i don't know if you can see here yeah, like that it's not bad actually it's not a bad bag so yeah like i've said if anyone is interested just hit me on my instagram and i'll get back to you but for only people who live in nairobi because i feel like ne ukiishi nairobi it's so much better to it's so much easier to arrange uh 
on delivery and everything else so yeah for only people who live in nairobi if you're outside nairobi it doesn't make sense by the way it doesn't make sense if you're outside nairobi so yeah that's the bags that i thrifted i didn't have honestly i didn't have a lot of uh capital <laughs> as you can see i just started with what i had but the goal here is to just start and that's what i did i just wanted to start and then i'm not even like i've said i've not even come up with like an instagram page i don't even know where i'm going to get followers but i just have the bags and i'm happy that i've just started so yeah So that's how the pillowcases look like and um they're not looking bad for 100 shillings they are better than the pillowcases not being there so i guess they gave me a holiday bitch all kind of shit let me pull my diamond test out you bitch you kind of free better keep my name up out of mouth they been trying if it's beef then let me know baby why you hiding it about your coochie, bitch. Pits like a pussy. We all know that cat is giving fits. When I seen that egg play, that nigga know what time it is.
Guys, I want to end this vlog here because I feel like I don't know if I have enough clips by the way I hope I do but I want to continue with the house chores I have so much work to do but I didn't want to film that with you only because I feel like by now it's so monotonous you guys have seen me washing my utensils like a million times you've seen me washing like duvets like a million times and at this point I don't want you guys to be bored um yeah here i have a lot more work to do and you know there's just a small voice that is telling me i'll just chill and then you do the rest of the work tomorrow but i'm like tomorrow is another day and i have a lot more things to do tomorrow and um i just i don't know i'll not feel good if i don't finish up with this work today and i still need to wash my duvet bro send help send help because <laughs> But the adulting is such a scam. Adulting is such a scam because you live alone, you still have so much work to do. But then do you know what? Like this is this is just something that I usually think about. I'm usually thinking, I imagine how I get tired to just take care of myself. Like I have to clean up after myself. I have to wash utensils. I have to wash clothes. I have to do all that. And then now I usually imagine, can you imagine those women who are married and they have to do it for now extra, they have to do it for an extra person. I'm they have to do it if they have children, of course. They have to do it for two, three more people. Like I'm just tired of doing these things only for myself now imagine doing them for another extra person a whole grown-up person because we all know men yeah so imagine every time i get home and i'm so tired and i don't feel like cooking i just go for fries i'm usually thinking to myself imagine if i was married i would be cooking i would be cooking right now but yeah those are just my thoughts i'm doing i'm not saying that marriage is bad there's nothing wrong with marriage it's nice when you get a partner who's willing to contribute to help around but if you get someone na oh you're going to die but yeah um thank you so much for watching i will see you on my next vlog bye